Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Awaken Taurus 1111. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about triplicities. Uh, this is a second part to a video that I'd already done on triplicities. Uh, this time, I'm going to go into the traits of the elements a little deeper than what we did before, uh, and then kind of go from there. Um, now keep in mind that we're just talking about sun signs. Uh, we're not talking about moon signs or sending signs. Uh, so just because of, uh, you know, you don't have a particular element in your sun sign doesn't mean that you don't have it in your natal chart. Um, so I may, uh, make some videos in the future, uh, that actually entail your, how to pull your natal chart and that type of information, where to get it. Um, but today I'm just specifically going to talk about zodiac signs or sun signs. Um, so there's four, as we've already talked about with triplicities, there's four different elements. Um, there's the element of air, there's an element of fire, there's an element of earth, and then there's an element of water. Uh, and so within those elements of the, uh, let's start out with the air signs. You have a Libra you have Aquarius and you have Gemini. And some traits that are common with an air sign are they're intelligent, uh, they're good communicators, uh, they're adventurous, and they're free spirits. Um, so moving on to fire signs. Um, fire signs uh, are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, and they are passionate, um, they're fun, uh, they're compassionate towards other people, and they're also independent. So those are some traits that you may see with a fire sign. Uh, with an earth sign, uh, like myself, uh, we're practical, uh, stable, we're hardworking, and we're methodical, uh, or step-by-step, -step, or we like things to be in a step-by-step process. Uh, earth signs include Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And then our last um, element is water and some uh, some things that you see from uh, people with water signs uh, that are prominent are they have intense emotions um, they're creative they're deep they're intuitive um, so and within the water sign uh, element there's cancer there's Scorpio and there's Pisces um, so kind of going back to what we talked about in the previous video, uh, we were talking about compatibility uh, within uh, the elements. Uh, so to kind of reiterate that again, um, earth signs and water signs mix well together, and then fire sign and air signs mix well together. Um, so these are the, some common traits that come up uh, within the elements themselves. Um, now I'm going to make uh, some other videos where I actually go into each zodiac sign and get a little more detail in uh, things that you might see in a person of the, their, that specific zodiac sign. Um, but for today uh, and continuing on our discussion about tri triplicities, I wanted to bring up um, these um, things that you may see within uh, people with those elements. Now, one thing to consider or to understand is, again, we are talking about sun signs. Um, now, when you pull or get to the point uh, where you wanna pull your natal chart or if you're interested in pulling your natal chart, um, you'll find out that most likely uh, within your planets, uh, within your moon and ascending signs, you're most likely going to have at least one of these elements uh, throughout your natal chart. Uh, and you may see more of one element than another, uh, so you're going to kind of gravitate towards that, uh, that element with it makes up your full personality. Um, for me, um, personally, um, I have, I'm an earth sign for my sun. Um, I have an air sign as my moon. Um, and then I have an earth sign as my ascendant. And then I have a fire sign for my Venus. 
So those four uh, are usually the most prominent of who actually makes up who you are as a person. Now your planets still play into who you are as well, but those first four, your sun, your moon, ascendant, and your Venus sign are, the, are gonna be the most prominent or have the most weight that makes up who you are. Uh, and I'll go into a little more detail in some further videos that I'm going to make about how the, each of those signs uh, actually work and what they mean for you. Um, but if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.